community is remembering a man dedicated to the city of St. Paul and St. Paul Regional Water Services. Peter Davis was struck and killed by a dump truck while working at a road construction site on Wabasha and 7th Street. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan has more on Davis's life that his loved ones say was defined by service to the community. Here in front of Vogel's Lounge, one of Peter Davis's favorite spots. And today, ironically, it's a glass of water that is the true tribute. That's because over 44 years, everyone here living in St. Paul, if they had clean water, Peter Davis definitely had something to do with that. Peter Davis was a family man, a proud husband, father, and grandfather, but he also had a work family where the water weighed the same as blood. There's going to be 500 people without water, a thousand. Somebody's got to fix it. To go with him, if he was the boss, you love to go in there with them. Biz McAllister calling Peter Davis the brother he never had and a presence now that will never be replaced. Davis fresh off his retirement from the water utility, joining the private sector and working for a contractor on the city of St. Paul's Wabasha Street reconstruction project. According to police, a dump truck on Wednesday struck and killed the 61-year-old. OSHA confirming an investigation on the site, which includes nearly 30 different private contractors. I looked up to him for, for many years. You could always call him. He was a phone call away. Phone calls that even Davis's family say he never ignored, be it nights, weekends, or holidays. If there was a water main break on a Thanksgiving, yes. he felt like he was helping his family because they were part of St. Paul. Yes, yes. And they even, some of the guys made up a uh, uh, kind of like a Superman type outfit and put Pete's head on it with it. Super Pete. Guys that work for him, such as myself, can only hope to carry that torch and be a Pete someday. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News. St. Paul police say there is no indication of any criminal negligence, but the investigation will take several months. Construction resumed at Wabasha Street and is expected to wrap up in November.